Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So in this video, I'm talking about how to add end screens and cards to your videos uh, in YouTube Studio Beta. Catch you inside. Revelator Alf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf, the channel about motorcycle life, uh, bikes and interests. Uh, so please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, leave loads of comments below and give the video a thumbs up at the end if you really like it. Okay, so in this video I'm talking about uh, YouTube Studio Beta and how to add end screens and uh, cards to your videos. Now, uh, I swapped over on my channel, Revelator Alf, uh, for uh, about four four months ago, something like that. Now, and I've been forcing myself to use uh, Studio Beta all the time. Now, Beta, all that means basically that it's in development. However, what you must know uh, is that YouTube are just purely focusing on Studio uh, Studio Beta now in developing that. They're not developing, as they keep on telling us, uh, with all the, the their own videos, they're not developing the uh, classic uh, creator uh, studio anymore. Okay, so what that means is that sooner or later, the creator studio, the back end of YouTube will disappear and then we'll all be forced to be using uh, Studio Beta uh, or it will become the, the YouTube studio. So, I took it upon myself to actually just start using it, first of all, uh, about four months ago. And it's it's great, but there it's it's a work in progress. So anytime there's a bit of functionality that doesn't quite work, you'll be directly back to the creator studio, the old sort of way of doing it. Okay, so one of the things that's happened within the last week or so, certainly that I've noticed, is that anytime you in Studio Beta you try to add end screens or cards to your videos, uh, there'd be a link that would take you back to Creator Studio and you'd have uh, all the old ways of doing it. That suddenly disappeared last week. So now the way to do it is to actually go into the editor on Studio Beta of your particular video and add it there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the video screen, uh, screen record and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Right then, okay, so uh, this is my uh, desktop here and this is my YouTube account, which you can see Revelator Alf here. And then this is the old system or the, the classic system, if you like, the Creator Studio. So if I click on that and this will take you into the, the back end so if I show you the old way first, there we go, right, sorry, a bit, bit slow here. Okay, so um, what you would do, uh, you would go into a video, I've just made a quick video here, pulling faces here, silly little video, but go to edit. And then at the top here, this is what uh, you would uh, be able to change here, your end screens, your cards. So you go to end screen, and then this will basically set uh, towards the end of the video, let's say, or something like that. You can reset uh, where you actually want this to come in. I usually have it about uh, about 20 odd seconds uh, before the end of the video, something like that. And uh, you just add an element so you can add whatever playlist, <clears throat> most, vid uh, most recent video. Uh, I usually have something like uh, a playlist from one of my playlists, let's say, I'll just choose um, biking issues, something like that. Uh, so you can see that, there's my two elements there, and then I'll also have a subscribe element as well, which I just put on the top right. You can just choose whatever layout you want. Okay, so that is that is saved there, okay? So what I'll do now, that's how you do it. I'll basically just uh, get rid of these. For now. There we go, right, so save that. Same with the cards. If you go to the cards section here, and I'll quickly pause that. Okay, you can add cards throughout your timeline. So let's say um, at about uh, 15 seconds, something like that. Uh, I just want to add a card, you know, I want to direct to a, a video or a playlist, let's say this particular video here, I was talking about that, so I'll just create a card. Um, a bit further on, I was talking about a playlist, let's say, so I'll just add uh, a playlist, there we go, that one. 
And then let's say towards the end of the video or something like that, uh, I want to add a link to a website. So there's a website, revelatoralf.com, uh, or that's just as it's wordpress.com, but it's revelatoralf.com. Uh, if you've got an approved website, uh, that's uh, what you should put there. There we go, something like that. There you go. Now you can add a maximum of five cards here. I've only used three, but a maximum of five. So that's it. Okay, so, and then you just all, it's all been uh, saved here. So that's how you would do it in the classic sort of creator studio. So what I'll do, I'll just delete those. I'll show you what I mean, right? Okay, so if I go back to video manager, so that's how you would add end screens and cards in the old way. Okay, now it's how you would do it in the studio beta. Okay, so let's say this is your, your old um, back end of YouTube account, uh, your YouTube channel. Go to try studio beta. Try studio beta there. Now this takes you to, ta -da. right, this takes you to the main page, your dashboard. Okay, so this is your main page, your dashboard. Now I've already got it lined up on here. So if you come down to this little cog here, this is your settings. Settings, you'll see here your Creator Studio Classic, that's what you're currently on. If you set the default to YouTube Studio Beta, press save. Okay, that's it, that's all done. So then when you go to your actual account, like so, there we go. You can see now that once you refresh that, there we go, it's YouTube Studio Beta instead of Creator Studio there. Okay, let's go to the uh, actual Studio Beta now. This is your dashboard. Here are your videos here. This is like your video manager. And you have to select the video. And then where you actually, uh, whereas before you would go to this icon here and it will give you a direct link to go to the end screens or to the, uh, the cards. That has suddenly disappeared. Now you have to go to editor, the video editor you can see there. There's a pulling faces video, that silly video which I made. And at the bottom here you can see it says add end screens, so add end screen. Choose a template, whatever you want to use, something like that. And now, which element you want to use. So let's say I'm going to you know, have a video, most recent upload. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's go with a playlist. Um, now, here on the playlist, you actually have to uh, type in the actual name of the playlist and not the URL. So, Revelator, Revelator, Elf. And then it comes up with all your playlists, whatever it is. Because I name mine, the channel, name first and then. So let's say I just want to put that, like a travel login, something like that. And then the final one, oh, I'm going to put in a subscribe. Now you can rearrange these all you want. So let me just match it up with the other one that I did. Okay, so that's that. Now let's say I want to add cards. So I'll add cards here. And right now, the card will take you back to the, the classic. Okay, so I just, oops. So let's say I want to come here, 15 seconds, and we do exactly as we did before. Um, just to say I want to add that one there. Up here, I want to add a, a playlist, for example. I don't know, I'll just make it up here. And then towards the end, let's say I want to add my website there we go my approved website you've got to be really careful about what websites you add here by the way okay so you've got to make sure it's an approved website your own website which you go and have approved uh, through youtube itself there we go there's me pulling a funny face there right so that's adding the card in it's all been saved and right top here you say return to youtube studio so now what you need to do you just save it 
and it will take a while for this to be processed. Now right now this is where it gets a bit clunky because it takes a while and you're not really sure if it's been uh, saved or not. But that's it, that is uh, how you uh, basically add end screens to your, uh, to your videos. So that'll take a while to uh, come off. So if I just come to here, back to my uh, channel, if I go to my YouTube Studio Beta, there we go. Okay, and if I go to my videos, sorry, my internet connection is a bit slow here. If I come to here, go to the editor, And there we go, it's actually registered now, uh, actually on there as well. There we go, so you got me, you got your three elements right here uh, for your end screens, and then your add cards, look at the add card, and there you go, they're all registered there as well. So there we go, so get rid of that. Right, okay, so that's how you add end screens and cards to your videos using uh, Studio Beta as it is right now. So I say, it's a little bit clunky, it still is in development, but Studio Beta is, is basically what's uh, happening now. And this will be for the future as well. So going, you know, you, I'm not saying you have to leave a classic creator studio, um, but you kind of have to prepare yourself for using this. And it's all its little bits and pieces that you have to learn about as well. But I say, this is, um, this is how to add end screens and you basically need to go into video, edit, uh, video editor uh, to actually show. So go into your video manager here, as I say, select a video and then you've got your video editor here. That's where you do it all. Okay, well, I hope that you found that useful. Uh, so this is uh, YouTube Studio Beta. Uh, it's uh, it's the platform, or it's the, or the way the platform is going uh, in the future. So get your head around it now, if I were you, and start working with it. Uh, so this is how to add the end screens and the cards uh, to your videos. It is a bit clunky uh, right now, but I'd say I'm sure it'll improve in time. Right, catch you on the next video. Uh, please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, leave loads of comments, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.